Hey guys, it's Vicebister here again, with the second boss of the Vault of the Incarnate Raid, Teros. He's an elemental behemoth who became trapped between two planes of existence when his summoning ritual was abruptly cut short. He's stuck in this cavern and he's pissed. Like most big pissed guys who will slam the ground, killing anyone inside and shaking stalactites loose from the ceiling to crash down, leaving resident aftermath. You quickly learn this fight is full of area denial. Also, if nobody is in melee range, he just starts pulverizing everyone. Teros has one main ability that the rest of his assault interacts with, Rock Blast. He charges up a yellow swirly on a random target with enough force to one-shot them, so friends should help Soak to split the damage. While preparing Rock Blast, a handful of other players will get targeted with a yellow arrow above their heads, indicating that they're marked with Awakened Earth. Rock Blast's detonation causes all targets with Awakened Earth to get speared from below by these Earth Spikes you see here, taking damage and getting knocked back a short distance. These earth spikes each pulse the raid indefinitely until destroyed and will get out of hand quick, as we learned later on. We keep these in check two different ways. First, Concussive Slam is the line nuke that fixates on the current tank, and the player can aim them to also break any awakened earth in its path. Think Halandris with the beams and shielded modes. Same concept. When a spike is destroyed, it no longer pulses AoE damage, but it does explode raid-wide as a seismic assault. When breaking multiple of these, be sure to get the burst healing ready. Taro slowly gains energy throughout the fight, and once reaching 100, he does a Sire Denathrius and picks a section of the room with the most players in it and annihilates it, filling it with Resonant Aftermath. This cuts his room into quadrants. More rubble falls at random from the ceiling. This is the second way that the Awakened Earth Spikes can be destroyed, and also the reason you want your tanks to already be managing them throughout the fight via Concussive Slams, so that Taros doesn't just pop 10 spikes at once and you fall over. Overall I think it's a really great fight, it's number 2 on the first raid of the expansion so of course it's going to be a little bit more simple. The way I look at it too is compare Taros, the second boss of the raid, to other second bosses throughout Shadowlands with similar fight profiles. Taros is absolutely more engaging fun, and more interesting visually than bosses like Skolex or I the Jailer, so I really can't wait to get my hands on more of this raid. 